This is how to install fonts on your Mac OS X the manual way. So first we're going to have a look for some free fonts online which is an easy way to get some fonts onto your Mac until you become a successful designer and you can afford to pay for some quality fonts. This is a good way to get some great designs going and make them a little bit individual. Just gone to one of the um, good free font sites that are out there and I've chosen a, a font and downloading it to my computer. So have a look inside the downloads folder and I've downloaded a font which is called Misunderstood, that's the name of the typeface. It ends in a .ttf which means that it's a true type font. On the Mac OS X there's two places where you can put this font manually so that it will work inside your system. The first place is simply inside the library in a folder called fonts and you could drop the file into there and that would become available on your computer. The other way to install the fonts that I like to use is simply in your users folder. So if you were to go back to your computer and have a look in the users folder, you can have a, a range of users. In my case, I just have the one user, that's myself. Now, you'll notice that there's no library in my user folder. That's because about after 10.7 in the Mac, you actually have to go to the library using the option key and hold it down, go to the go menu, holding the option key, and then your library can come up. There's other ways to access that library folder as well, but that's the easiest way. Um, Mac or Apple have tried to make it a little bit harder to access that. I'm not sure why, trying to dumb it down a little bit. There's the fonts folder inside my user folder, and I can just drag that free font we downloaded, the TrueType font, into the fonts folder there, and now that should be available inside programs for you to use. So I'll just open up a file I'd already created and have a look at the typeface that's being used here. Now, if I look for my misunderstood typeface, that's come up straight away. Um, now, sometimes you may need to quit out of your program that you're using and restart it so that you can access the font that you just downloaded. And that's how to install fonts on your Mac OS X.